going to be showing you how to set up a new Final Cut Pro project. We're going to use an external hard drive. In this case, I'm going to use this Lacy. We're going to make a new folder, and I have one here called New Final Cut Project. How I created this was to go to the middle gear here, New Folder. I call that new Final Cut. And then I launch Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro. Up in the spotlight. Final Cut Pro will defaultly open up to the last project that you were working on. What we're going to do today is create a new project and everything that goes along with that, setting up our scratch disk. Your scratch disk is where you will store your files and where you will access them. In this case, we're using an external hard drive for that. So I'm going to go File, New, Project. It's going to give us an unentitled project. Just close out this other project. The first thing I'm going to do is set my scratch disk. I'm going to go to Final Cut Pro, System Settings. On the first line, You'll see that these checked video capture, audio capture, video render, audio render. I'm going to hit set. I'm going to locate my Lacey under devices. And I'm going to go to the new Final Cut Pro project. And I'm going to hit choose. This can be named whatever you want. It can be, you know, so-and-so's project. Or you see I have several other projects here. CYS documentary, Howcast, etc. And then I hit OK. What that did was it created inside of my new Final Cut Pro, it created these three folders, audio, render file, capture scratch, and render files. This is where once we capture video, it will go into our capture scratch folder. Next, we don't want it to say unentitled project number one up top here. So I'm going to go to file, save project as. I'm going to go to my Lacey locate my new Final Cut Pro and we'll name this new project and it says I already have one in there I'm going to replace it oops looks like we weren't able to so I'll try it again new project 2 so now it created a new project for us then we're going to go and make sure our User preferences are set up correctly in Final Cut. You want levels of undo to be 99. It defaultly comes at 10 levels of undo, but we'd like to be able to undo, if we made a mistake, up to 99 times. Oh, there's my dog barking. We're going to have to ignore that. Everything else I'm going to leave the same. Depending on what we are working with in Final Cut is where you will choose your next one, audio video settings. If you're working in high res 24p footage, this is what you would choose. There's a whole pull down full of hundreds of these choices. Normal DV footage would be DV NTSC. Same for your capture preset. I'll make another tutorial about how I get my TTY footage into Final Cut. Well, tune in next time to find out more about Final Cut and its interface.